is snow and leaves, you guys. Everything left on these trees is coming down. Do I see it? Pretty soon this whole yard is gonna look like this. She has a collar on now, can't fit under any fences. Uh-oh, wait. That is not good. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. It's freezing outside. It's only going to get worse. Sophie texted me and said, hey, are you in the goat barn? I'm like, yes, I'm in the goat barn. <laughs> I was still getting dressed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a couple of days ago, we found this bottle, bottom of a bottle or a plate or something in our duck pool. And I empty that thing every other day and clean it and it's never, nothing like this has ever been in there and I don't know how it would have got in there. It was one piece, it broke when I threw it out. That was the night before the horse show when I cleaned out their pool and filled it. And then yesterday, I found this. Like you think you only find this like in the ocean. <laughs> it's like a, it actually must be like, beer bottles or something I don't know we don't buy beer and if we did we wouldn't buy it in that kind of a case so my question is are the duck and the goose kind of acting like crows where they collect stuff and put it in the water or is something more sinister happening like what the heck is happening this is so pretty you guys we should do some pictures over here some of them ripened some of the pears ripened yeah wow look every time the wind comes up it's like raining yellow listen to it lady lola has had some shots and we took some blood so hopefully by the end of this week she'll be able to start being integrated in with the goats it all depends on her test results but we're all thinking that she's going to be fine and that she'll be able to be integrated soon but she likes chickens <laughs> all right chicken doodles there she go Everybody out. That's the wrong way. <laughs> They're all so fluffy now. So sadly, we have two broody hens. And what's weird is that usually hens get broody in the summer, but ours are broody in the winter. Sonia and I were talking about how we'd like to hatch some eggs in the fall and winter so that we could have them to sell as laying hens in the spring when everybody's buying eggs chickens and then they go broody and then our chickens went broody so it's almost like we're on the same wavelength they understood the assignment sam brought me home all these insane amounts of zucchinis and now it's winter he like lit it happens every year too we bring them home and then the next day it's winter so i'm going to try and preserve some of them this one is my favorite oh wow it's like 75 pounds I literally love fall because fall has most of my favorite kind of vegetables. I love squash. I love sweet potatoes. Cold. I know. It is so cold. But here's the thing. My favorite way to preserve squash, especially when I get it late in the season like this, is I like to shred it and then freeze it. I like to give all the guts and seeds to the chickens because they love that. And then I like to take big huge ones like this but there are others that look more, that look better. And I like to dry the seeds and keep them for spring. So when I plant a garden, I can just have the seeds. So that's what I'm gonna do with all those squash out there. I brought a couple in so that they could thaw because it's cold outside. And, zucchini. and, well, zucchini is a squash. I'm gonna clean these ones up, or I'm gonna peel these ones and then shred it and get the seeds and give them to the chickens and then I'm gonna keep doing that and I will preserve some of the seeds. All right, so we are at the sales barn. We are here to see what is available today. I brought my camera, if you guys don't know, last week. I didn't bring my camera, we just stopped in. And I was like, you know what, we're gonna find something this week because I didn't bring my camera, so I'm not expecting to find anything. I don't really wanna find anything, we already have too many things. But we're gonna go see what is at the sales barn today. Lots of sheep. We only have eyes for goats, and these are some really cute goats. I love this kind. Oh my gosh, that beautiful one in the back is pure white. And then there's Why you pick the pure white. One? I love the pure white ones, and then the baby. Yeah, that one's cute too. That one's the orange. That one is so cute. That one burnt or deformed. So obviously this is somebody's farm because they're all the same breed. Oh, these guys are pretty calm for being in a new area. No babies. Isn't she adorable though? She just looks, looks so pregnant. cute. 
She probably is pregnant. I like this one. Yeah, I like that one too. These are actually so sweet. She was sniffing me. I was eating pumpkin seeds. Do you like pumpkin seeds? This sheep is adorable. Isn't it cute? I don't know why we still go there. That's probably our last time for the season. Sophie, it's getting too cold. People don't take their animals there so much in the winter. Yeah. Well, we found a goat there last time. I know, it was a fluke. I came outside to clean the van because we're taking the kids uh, to go for Halloween tonight. They're going with friends. So we have to go and drop them off. And so I opened the door and went to get a garbage bag to clean the van. I just want to clean it out before we go. And I came back and there were chickens in the van. <laughs> yeah, that's my life now. So today, Sophie had to have blood work so that she could have her CT scan. So in order for them to book the CT scan, she had to go and get her blood work done. And it literally, it was a three hour wait. So we spent the whole entire afternoon. Where's that dog? Allie, get in here. So we spent the whole entire afternoon at the lab. It took so long. So then we finally get in after three hours. Oh, careful. We finally get in after three hours. And I swear to God, Sophie has no veins. None. And she was like that as a baby. And when she was young, she had a lot of health issues that we were at the doctor a lot. But lately, she's been good. Hi. We're putting you to bed early. Are you down for that? What's wrong? Why are you looking so sad? What's wrong? I have to go out there and check. Oh, you're okay? And Penny's out there too? Hello, handsome. We're going trick-or-treating. Anyway, the whole point of my story is the fact that it took us forever all day at the lab. So we're doing chores super early. Is Sophie coming down to the barn? It's literally two hours earlier than normal. Oh, we got some stragglers at the, at the food pile. Allie, stop chasing the duck and the goose. Anyway, once we finally got called into a room, it took two people to take Sylvie's blood. Two people. And it was because she has the tiniest veins ever. Like, it's a good thing she's not sick anymore because oh, it would be so super annoying. Come on, dudes. Would they go up there? Literally, they stay down at their own area now, but they come up when they hear us. What the heck? <laughs> Even though I don't like that, I love it. To be fair, I don't think they'll care that we're putting them to bed early. And you guys, literally so much has happened in the last two days and I haven't been able to share it with you guys. Even like about finding horses maybe. I don't know, I don't wanna even share that with you yet. Because I don't know. But anyways, there's a contender. Leave it at that. Whoa. But last night, Sam and Sophie, Sam and Gabby made me go on the Haunted Halloween Walk, our annual Haunted Halloween Walk. Scariest night ever. And I wanted to share that with you guys. Like so much has happened, but we've just been away doing so many things. Push him to bed, Molly. Come on, go to bed, little boy. Come on, here, take his food. Put it in there, yeah? Yeah, just pretend like you're gonna give it to him. See this stall here? When Lola is ready to be in with the goats, I'm gonna bring her into this stall. And we're going to get ready to grab the boy. He's right here. Grab him. And he's going, we're gonna put her in with one of the babies. Probably the boy. She's looking so wide. Her. Yeah, let's get this going. Let's get this going. So, so we're gonna separate her. Like we're gonna bring her down here. We're gonna stick her in there with the boy and let them become friends so that she has like a friend when she goes in with the rest of them because I'm sure the rest are gonna try and kill her and she's still pretty little. Are you ready? He's a little short. Very little short. All the goats are fed. All we need now are the duck and the goose. Come here, buddy. Are they coming? They're all the way back at the barn. Well, go walk them down. Do you want me to walk them down? Yeah. Our plan for today was to build the goats, uh, like a, to fix the goats' winter area, to make it nicer for them in the winter. So, Allie, Allie. <laughs> She's like, oh, help, oh, help. Stop. Good girl, but no thank you. <laughs> 
my gosh. She's such a funny dog. Ellie, no thank you. No thank you. Uh, it is freezing out. Ellie, go! You're not helping! Go! Don't worry, I'll protect you from her. Oh, man, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. You might have to pick him up. That moment when you're in a hurry and the duck and the goose don't want to participate. They're like, you will never hey, boss Ellie. me! It's because Ellie. Leo, just attack her. Ellie, go. She just wants to play. Yeah, everybody attacks her. You might as well. Even me. Okay, you go put them in bed. I'll close this door. Ellie, come on out. Come on. I would bring Ellie trick-or-treating. I would bring Ellie trick-or-treating, but I just don't think she'll enjoy it. It would be a great prelude to the Santa Claus parade, but I just want to survive. Come on. Let's go. Molly. Out. Everybody's done. Good night, animals. If you're wondering what I'm being for Halloween, I'm being Cruella again. Cruella again. Put all our energy into one costume. So the chickens are going to be a little trickier. <laughs> Come on. Come on. So. We needed to get a bribe. Come on. They're going in your bed. Come on. They're like, all of them are like a posse. They're like, I'm not going in. Here, you hold the bag and shake it. And I'll, I threw a ton of them in there. Let me, Gabby, walk the chickens in. Walk behind the chickens and shake the bag. No, walk towards them. Yeah, that's not gonna work. This way, come on! Okay, we'll leave them. Let's leave them. Well, that was a fail. <laughs> Chickens are staying out tonight. I uh, staying out later than normal. We always put them in every single night, but tonight they're gonna be a little later. That's all. Don't you know that you're beautiful?